guys. So today I am here working with Simple Stories, Simple Vintage North Pole Collection. Uh, it's so cute. It's vintage. <laughs> Duh. But uh, here's some of the elements I got from the collection. I got some bits and pieces, some three-dimensional stickers, chipboard stickers, and then the paper pack. I did purchase them from scrapbook.com and it looks like pretty much everything is available. <clears throat> I'm going to link the whole collection and um, you can see everything that they have available. So this is the Neat and Tangle Classic Tag 2 die. If you saw my Not Too Shabby project, um, I was making dies, uh, I'm sorry, tags, and I had made my own dies going off um, a tag Jamie made, her design team. Anyway, Jamie uh, told me what tag she tag die she used. It is actually retired. I found mine on eBay. So I'll see if I can find it, but just know that it is retired. And of course, this would all work with whatever tag die you have. I just really like this one because they're large. So I've gone ahead and pre-cut everything, and I'm just you're just going to see me attach all the pieces. Um, I thought I would do something different with this collection. Instead of making cards, making tags, because I'm... I'm not really a fan of like tags and kits um, and I couldn't care less about tags in general but I've seen so many cute tags this season holiday season that it's really given me a lot of inspiration and I guess with the stress of work being gone I'm like ah I have an idea where before it's like oh my god I have nothing <laughs> so um, I decided to go and make these tags so I hope you like them um, you'll see me with the chipboard stickers adding glue adhesive. The chipboard stickers are not very sticky. They are self-adhesive, whatever, but they're not very sticky. So I would highly recommend adding some type of adhesive to them before you stick them to your project because they will pop off. Um, the sequins I'm using are just random. Um, again, everything in my craft room is pretty much packed up, so I'm working with limited supplies. Also, this one I love. I just love that pattern paper. It's so pretty. Um, I am using glue adhesive for everything, and I would highly suggest that you use tape adhesive. Um, on this paper is double-sided paper, so I cut out, out of solid cardstock, cut out a piece to adhere to the back of the tags so I could write who to and from and all that. And um, I used my art glitter glue, which I love, but and I let it sit overnight because I, you know, I was late. So I'm like, I'll finish these tomorrow. And all my tags were a little warped, and I'll actually show you it um, towards the end here. But all the pieces you see me putting together, the little top portion that is a die that comes in that die set. But most die, and I'll just see if I can find some similar tag dies, and I'll link them below for reference. Um, but most, um, die sets will have some decorative piece to your, uh, die. There's so many tag dies out there that you could find circles, this rectangle, whatever. Um, but like I said, I really like this one because it is so large. So our house is up on the market. It went up officially on the market. Oh God, I don't even remember. Thursday, the third. And our, we had our first showing and they made an offer. <laughs> so um, we did counter and they accepted it. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know how many people get that lucky, but um, we're the only house in our neighborhood for sale. So in this neighborhood, the houses do not last long. So I'm very thankful for that. But the whole process just has my stomach in knots. Like we had a, another showing today because we're going to continue to show just in case. And, um, you know, it just is stressful. As anyone that sold a house knows, this is my first time and my husband's first time selling a house. So it's all brand new to us. But I worry about the cats getting stressed because we don't take them with us. They do hide. They're still actually hidden from our showing that just ended 15 minutes ago. But... I don't know. I just want it to be done with. And I think I'm more stressed because we're moving out of state. So, you know, Dave, my husband has a job and I think I have a job. Um, my friends have been texting me saying, I just got a call for a reference. So I'm pretty sure that's a good sign. 
Um, so it's nice to have two, possibly two, but definitely one job lined up. But it's also stressful because I have to give them a, a time frame in which I can start. And, you know, my husband, they're being very flexible. Um, but I don't want him to put them off anymore, you know. And actually, my husband and I would be working at the same place, <laughs> which is pretty cool. We probably wouldn't even see each other because um, we'll be in different areas. But I, I'm, I think that's pretty cool. Maybe, maybe I'll regret it later, <laughs> but anywho, um, so I'm using the Stampin' Dimensionals to pop up some of the ephemera pieces. The, the ephemera pieces are just adorable. My favorite, like when I look at, I go to scrapbook.com a lot because they have so many paper packs and collections of different brands, um, but I, I'm always drawn toward the vintage. I just love it. So, and I have a ton left over, so I may, um not on camera or video, but I may make some cards using my leftover pieces because they are so cute. I do have another Simple Stories collection and I probably will do um, a video, card making video with that one and not tags. But anyway, look at that Santa, just precious. I go ahead and add these chipboard stickers to kind of give it some dimension. So cute. I did leave out some ribbon because I'm selling those Grinch ornaments in my Etsy shop. I always link my Etsy shops below. So I left out some ribbon um, that I'll be using for the tags, thankfully. <laughs> Packed everything else, all the other ribbon, but left out some Christmas themed ribbon just in case. Add some sequins. I believe this is the ninth tag. I didn't number the tags this time around. I, during the showing, I went to Michael's and um, got a new planner. I kind of fell off the face of the earth with my planning. Of course, I packed all my planner stuff away, but I've been in a really in the mood to plan and maybe because I have a little bit more time on my hand with not working. Um, it's amazing how that works <laughs> actually on my life back, but um, I'm hoping to get back into that next year. Look how cute that little Santa is. It's just precious. And that chipboard piece was real easy to cut if you want to cut any. So here I have um, just used various colored cardstock to coordinate with um, the tag and I'm just going to adhere it to the back. Again, I suggest using tape adhesive with this part. I think it would reduce the warpage. Here are the little um, reinforcements, I guess you could call them. I looked in my desk and I was looking for my, excuse me, um, you know how you can buy the little holes for like papers that go in binders. If it rips, you use this to, uh, you know, secure it again. I was looking in my desk for those because I have a whole pack of them cannot find them so I had to sit there and cut them all die come out it does come with the die to do that but I didn't want to do that I just wanted to <laughs> use the sticker the same thing so here I'm just going to show you I was showing you the back of all the other tags most of them and here I'm just going to show you how I tied the bow some of the ribbon I used to tie a little bow um, on other ones I just did a knot um, some of the ribbon I have is really finicky which reminds me, at Michael's, I forgot to look at the ribbon. I've been, every, I, every time I go out to anywhere, I'm like, gingerbread, anything, gingerbread, gingerbread ribbon, gingerbread wrapping paper, gingerbread anything. And I I did find some gingerbread ribbon at Michael's a couple weeks ago, and I did get it, but I wanted to see if they had anything else. And I forgot. Anyway, so there is one of the finished tags. And here I'm going to kind of show you all of them already put together. I used some twine. I used different ribbon. Um, you know, use whatever you prefer. Um, I probably would have preferred to tie, have tied bows instead of a knots, but you know, I can always go back at another time. See here it is how warped it is. You can see, so I just kind of bend it and it helps a little, but it's still a little wavy and I, I was not pleased with that. So just use tape adhesive if you do create some tags. Aren't those cute? And I love how they're giant. Anyways, the collection will be linked below. I will try to find some comparable tag dies if you're interested. 
Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, something different. And I know some of you are like, she created tags after all her smack talking about tags. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.